I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Welcome to Consequences Plays Thimbleweed Park. This is the last game Ron Gilbert made before Return to Monkey Island, so I thought it would be a great time to dive back into this game. I haven't played it since it came out, so I've forgotten all the puzzles, I've forgotten the story. I'm really looking forward to getting back involved in this one, and uh, hopefully we can sort of design what Return to Monkey Island is going to be like, you know, understand where Ron's head is at in terms of like puzzles and where the story goes and stuff. So, um, this is episode one of uh, Thimbleweed Park. We are back with the verb interface, nine verb interface. And uh, this is one of our characters, one of the player characters. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Uh, I need some whiskey. Sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. All right, we've um, we've lost him to, to talk go. to him. Sleep well. Uh, so what have we got on us then? Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the trestle trail. Turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewer. Make sure you are not followed. Okay, so we've got to go turn off a light. No problem. What have we got in our wallet? wallet? And it has 252 American dollars in it. All right, no need to brag. It is the key card for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Very nice. Well, I like the little how the arrow changes. So this will be the um this will be the the light then. Should we walk a little bit further across? I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Oh, maybe. Pick it up. I had better follow the instructions okay. on the note before wandering into the underbrush. So let's Crack off that light. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So, Thimbleweed Park is a pixel art game. It may be the only pixel art game that uh, Ron has ever made because when Monkey Island 1 and 2 came out, that was just what the art was at the time. Pixel art, however, is a choice, and um, originally Ron had thought that his third Monkey Island, Return to Monkey Island, would be pixel art, but um, when he made Thimbleweed Park, he sort of got got that need out of his system, which is why Return to Monkey Island looks the way it does. So we're walking across here. I love how all the... Um, the layers of the bush and everything. I think that's really interesting. Walk to the odd tree. Oh my god. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Oh my Christ. <laughs> I just wanted to look at the odd tree. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Part two. The body. Oh, we got through part one quite quickly, didn't we? Okay, so he isn't one of our characters. He's the guy that dies. Wow. So Just... tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. 
I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. So we've got two characters unlocked now. We've got Agent Reyes and uh, Agent Ray. So we're starting as Agent Ray. We'll pick up this bottle since I've just seen that there. Look Detective at the badge. Angela Ray, senior agent. Then we've got a note. Oh, she was she wasn't done talking. I'm so sorry. Got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Wow, what does that mean? Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrive at the body. I should do just fine as my cover. It should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh, great. Some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Okay, so she's got an ulterior motive, right? Uh, let's have a look at the corpse. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. He did have his but wallet on him before. Possibly a key card from a hotel. And there's the, the prototype been taken. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. His suit looks tailored. Possibly European in design. Appears to be a male, oh, okay. approximately 40 years old. Now we're going Looks in like he's been in the again. water for 24. You can tell by there's no wall. Okay, let's have a look at the notebook now. Appears to be male, nothing yet. Okay, so that's everything that we just learnt there. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Awesome. Walk to something odd. It's covered by the underbrush. But it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Oh, cool. Alright, okay. So I can see that we've got to do some pixel hunting. Oh, look at the odd tree! Oh my god, there's some eyes. Sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. This is flashing. Okay. The, tra the trail ends here at this huge rock wall. So if I use a chainsaw, can we get rid of the old tree? I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. Uh, absolutely. Anything else in here? Oh, the old guy's gone. Um, okay. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates uh, any further. Yeah, okay. The cell phone has no reception. Alright, let's take a picture. There's no film in the camera. Okay. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. Well, isn't it that only lucky? It contains one photo. Like I don't have enough to carry already. So he just got the same information. Body's starting to pixelate. Ray is going to get on my nerves. Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need to do. Arrived in Thimbleweed Park from Albuquerque by bus. Heading out to look at the body. This is the perfect cover. Okay, so he's also uh, not an actual agent. Still walking along the highway. It's a long way from town. Arrived at the body and Agent Ray is here, which is odd. No one should have been assigned to the case. I may have heard of her from rumours around the office. Might pose some problems for me. Remember to call Mom tonight. Detective Antonio Reyes, Junior Agent. It's definitely my badge. All right. Okay. Let's um. It's an instant camera. Only has one picture left. Let's get it. Smile. 
Now we can head into town and find... It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, if you double click, it goes a bit faster. Pick up tuna can. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Oh, there's an Atari cartridge. Circus flyer. Look at circus it's flyer. A circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Well, that's kind of her to say, isn't it? Oh, the signals pigeon brothers. Are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already yes, said that. You already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Uh, oh, it's very meta, this game, isn't it? This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. I wonder if they know anything about signals and how strong they are. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff actually... and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. No time to talk. We need to figure out the sig- You two are nuts. Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Eek! What? It's a plumbing van driven by big no need. The perps are outside. The perps? Oh, we're Eek. sure that they're the ones responsible, Ooh. are we? Hold the... on. Oh! Speck of dust. Pixel hunting, pixel hunting. Cemetery? Walk past the main highway. So we'll walk round here. It takes us down here. Yeah. Can't read any of the gravestones. And that takes us down here. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I off to? I hope I don't have to walk all the way back because that's going to be actually really frustrating. Oh my god, have we made it? Oh, I got flowers. The heavy wrought iron gate is closed. I see a switch inside. Okay, oh, we're gonna have to walk back then. Oh yes, I forgot that she could walk fast. You know, it's, people were complaining about Return to Monkey Island not being pixel art, and uh, while, I, while I don't necessarily agree that it's bad that it's not pixel art, um, I can see why people like pixel art so much, because this game is, um, is so well designed, really, really, is a, um, is beautiful to, to, to look at, and I've always been a fan of um, modern pixel art games as well. 
but I don't think that means that Return to Monkey Island has to be pixel art, you know? What's happening here then? Wait for me. Hello, there you are. I didn't want to have to walk you down here either as well, so speck of dust. I can't reach that. You can reach it. Pick up the speck of dust. I don't understand. Why can't you reach I that? can't reach that. Alright, okay. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violin. Better leave it be. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. How about a hint on me getting out of this crazy town? I don't think we need a hint right now. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> um, yeah. How long? How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Ah, well, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Now, one thing... I do remember I didn't like about Thimbleweed Park is just I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. It's just how meta and self referential it is. I, mm, it's not my favorite kind of comedy that. Um, but it's still a good game. I still really enjoy playing it. <laughs> Bro didn't do a single slurp then. Ah. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Blood Tron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Perfect. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape and it will do a match of who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Dorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. 
You who city folk a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas a who's in a pot a who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. He already did Whatever. it. He did it earlier. Um, so, okay, so we've already got the um, the picture of the dead guy, but his ID uh, is in his hotel room. Um, yes. Okay. I need to get to his hotel room. And we have his hotel key. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now. Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. All right, okay. So we're done with the coroner, but we know what we need to do. We need um, blood things, fingerprint things, and another picture of him. stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. That was the year this was made. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Find the murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get finger Tron report. Find ID for the victim. Get face Tron report. Take a blood swab from the body. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get blood Tron report. Put all three reports in the arrest Tron. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Heck yeah, that's what we love to hear. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading. I'm not putting my face in there. I'm not putting my face in there. Insert two photos of an individual and the face Tron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Lots of medical books there. Anything I could use. It's my speck of dust. Okay. Alright, so we'll head upstairs. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Sean. By Sheriff Crook. Mortician. Did you get it? Oh, uh, should we check these things? It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Alright, so now we can get the fingerprint off the body. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. You're also the coroner, right? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Areno's in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Okay. You, I mean, the coroner, 
said something about the Arrestron? <laughs> yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized arena arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction arena. Every detail arena analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Areno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Yeah, uh, so Chuck... Who is Chuck? Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Oh, dear. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. Perfect. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay, uh, so let's look at... Open the drawers. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. Okay, right, so we basically got the fingerprint one all sorted. So I guess we'll just go sort that out now. Just a bunch of... Just a bunch... Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Breaker 19, breaker, breaker. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Okay. Enough screwing around. Um, I've got a case to solve. That was nice. Alright, let's get back to the um, the body. I love how fast he walks. Because this is a really long highway. Trestle Trail. Use fingerprint kit. It's oh, been in the water so long, its fingers are waterlogged. Oh. Might as well try to fingerprint a prune. Oh, no. Alright. I don't know where we're going to get a fingerprint from now, but... We move. We move. So, I don't think we need to talk to the pigeon bros just yet. Oh, they're blocking this street. I can't get past that water. Oh, no. Uh, this is a bank. It says, we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Okay. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. Um, what have we got in here, then? Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? Good question. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. 
Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. That's that's a fair summarization of, of, of that. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. All right, Sandy. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. We're the feds, yeah. Go on. We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ooh, okay. We get a flashback. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Oh, okay. Um, so, put clown nose, joke book, get my clown fro, apply makeup, go on stage. P.S. My life is amazing. Uh, open refrigerator. Close refrigerator. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. Oh, look at shiny trophies, yeah. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. Pick up clown nose. Use clown nose. Put that on. Yeah. Ouch! That's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I'm very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. What, where else is the stuff? It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown. $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. What the hell is this? The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Uh, okay, so this is a lumpy poster. I'm guessing if we pull that down. It came off the wall. There we go, so. Hmm. The number of letters in the first word of the big top sign. Right. The number of butt cheeks I have. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. It's my lawyer's business card. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. Oh, nice. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. <laughs> you! All right, so we need the big top sign, and we need to speak to Carney Joe. Ah. Fair enough. So this would be the big top, so it's stupendous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten and then two. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Carney Come Joe, there he is. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown. Asswipe. 
Okay, you got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? One thousand clams and you're not getting your joke book back. It serves you right for playing the duckies. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the ten kids. So ten to but ten. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f*** am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have... I don't know. Alright. Hey, I'm out of here. We need to get into the safe then. That's fine. Know how to do that. Goddamn makeup. Oh, let's use the goddamn makeup. Now there's the face I love. Okay, so joke book. We need a comb as well. Is there a comb here? Yeah, use hair gel. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. I don't wear hats. Fair enough. It's my ransom the clown swear job. Ah, perfect. With a I'll just take the big bucks. Oh no, we don't we don't need any hints just yet. Okay. So it was 10 2 10 uh, is the safe combo. Uh, you safe? Let's see if I can remember this combination. Okay now. And finally. Top da. Next time I'm setting it to one, two. Joke, but yeah, that's it, just the joke but left. My circus poster. Featuring the amazing Win big today. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Here it is. Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do. Which, which is nothing. nothing. Now, scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. There's absolutely no customers here, mate. Uh, step right up. All right. So, go up through the back. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke uh okay let's do you guys are obsessed with this chuck guy seriously i haven't seen brainwashing like this since the manson family blink twice you want me to get help let's do you read the rag the nickel news I'd use it as toilet paper, but I'm not sure it could fit any more on its pages. Probably make it a more interesting read, though. Uh, let's do... Stupid Mustache. Which guy do you reckon the Stupid Mustache guy is? This guy, this guy. Hey you, dude with the Stupid Mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Now, lady with the huge nose. I'm guessing that's this girl. I wouldn't say it's huge, though. So maybe... Oh, he's crying! Ah, <laughs> oh, poor guy. Hey, you. Lady with the huge nose. 
I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Uh, kid with the ugly shirt. Got me this guy in it. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Uh, creepy wheelchair guy. Hey, you, here. kid with a crappy wheelchair. Crappy, not creepy. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. Oh, what's she up to? You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable. And laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. The f you, old lady. You up the? F you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. Wow, that did not go well for Ransom. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Yeah, but see, what's the point though? If he can't leave the circus ground, how is he possibly killing anyone? Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, Love Muffin. Snuggle cakes. What's going on there? ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Oh! God, got me again. Oh my God, so is he dead now? So she's got the same to-do list. Pick up the wrench. What are you doing? Why are you walk over there? Don't touch our wrench Tron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. 
Mm, but I want to sort your problem out for you. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Pick up a dime. B Street. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Perfect. Speck of dust. Ricky's cakes. Talk to Ricky. Hey Lee. there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Okay. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Oh, perfect. I don't have time for your life story. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? Uh, do you know anything about the body by the river? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Are you sure you don't have any suspicions about the killer? Oh, no way, Jose. I don't believe for a second anyone in Thimbleweed Park is a killer. It had to be a drifter, or one of those mean city folks passing through. Mm, something tells me that you're a little bit naive. Oh, it says you're that there. You're naive <laughs> to be so trusting. Oh, maybe you big city agents can't understand what it's like to live in such a nice little town. But I know these people, and they are like family to me. Some of them are a bit eccentric, sure, but I just can't picture any of them as a murderer. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Uh, tubes for roofs, down the tubes, tube town, YouTube. Do it. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And somehow, vacuum tubes is the way to do that. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Weird. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the right, best the okay. town needs. So she tells tubes for all these atrons. What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure. But it's just going to make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Goodbye, Ricky Lee. Ah, if I remember correctly, this is all the, um... All the, uh... Kickstarter backers and the ones that, that you can call, the ones that are bolded, um, they got to leave little voice messages, which is cool. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Oh, is Otherwise, it looks fine. Very out of order. Oh, what's this place? Park Arcade. Oh. Meteor Menace. Who could be afraid of a meteor? This is a um, this is a reference to Maniac Mansion because that's about a meteor, um, and the uh, the the 
that Edison's finding it. I like it when the enemies die. Very realistic. And there's a there's a reference to it's out of order. Scum, which is the engine that uh, Maniac Mansion and Monkey Island was made on. Space slime. Who'd want to play this? I guess that's just a um, Space Invaders one. Gotta be crazy mad to play this game. Or you'll be crazy mad when you finished. It's the famous game, Tuna Head. It's out of order. It says, Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each and every time. It doesn't work in that. It says, it says, Tokentron 3000 is guaranteed to dispense exactly one token each so, yeah, and that's every all that's time. In here. Okay. A maximum of 12. Walk to back. It's back of dust. Back of dust. Hey, this lady was in the um, was in Ransom show. That Ransom the clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Or what? What are you going to do about it? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Flooring inspector, pirate, le fire, le le leather jacket salesman. This is all Indiana Jones and Monkey Island references. Pirate. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. Oh, we're getting another flashback. Uh, she only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Find the ideal job, check the mailbox on my computer, escape from Thimbleweed Park. I wonder if that's an Escape from Monkey Island reference. It'd be weird if it was. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. These are in mint condition. No way I'm going to touch them. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attend. It's a red gel decoder. Okay. Printron. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Oh, that'd be Ada... Is it Ada Lovelace? Oh, I made that up. Einstein. Billy Idol. That's cool. Some 
references to real people. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maniac Mansion? Maybe more highly... It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. Perfect. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Do you have what it takes to become a highly played game programmer? Mucus Games. Behind the make it kids of hit game free lines of haze and behind jaggy lines with qualified applications. Just complete and mail in this comprehensive programming test and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucus mu, mucus look. Uh, I can't I can't that can't process that word game programming. Imagine the perks: long hours, non-diet soda and pizza. Work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Out of date arcade machines in, t in the rec area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Apply today. Use your computer to connect with Mucus Phlegm to apply. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. We'll take it. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing. In There's nothing. In There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing. In There's nothing inside. Well, that was rubbish. There's nothing inside. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Carefully handling broken glass? I don't want to pick that up. Oh, we missed something. Hot sauce. Do we need all these items? Did I hear the door go? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Can I open it straight away? I'd better not open it. Ah, Uncle Dolores. Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. You beep. The fireplace looks very clean. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spew it says out of order. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Uh, right, what was the number? Was there a number? Uh, not one that it gives me. Wow, an app. Okay. Dial in with modem and fill out mucus phlegm. Job application, mail filed out. Job application, find Uncle Chuck in his room. Get a job at mucus phlegm, escape from Pimbleweed Park. The sign says it's out of order. Then it's out of order. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 60. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. 
It's connecting. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to Mucus Phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Dolores Edmund. Thank you. What is your address? I don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what, um, what state we're in. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Perfect. First question. What do mucus source level debuggers run on? Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Oh You'll no. Need to study up and take it again. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. Ah, oh, we'll go back to the library. Where did we get a pie from? Ricky Lee's famous. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. No one will miss this out. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Perfect. Is that a picture of? That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Cool. Uh, oh, I think it was, um, here, okay. Separate, oh Jesus, uh, Mucus Films is the greatest adventure game scripting language ever created. Mucus was first used in the revolutionary game Mansion Mansion. Mucus is a cooperative multitasking language allowing multiple scripts to run concurrently. Mucus allows for up to 256 room local variants. Functions can take up to eight parameters. The mucus source level debuggers run on a separate monitor. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Compiled scripts are packed into ML MFL files for distribution. Shipped games are encoded using the unbreakable XOR encryption. Eight actors can be displayed on screen at one time. Room backgrounds are compressed into character sets. When the screen scrolls, it moves by eight pixels. Up to 256 sounds can be defined for each game. Okay. Alright. I don't know if I retained all of that information, but we'll see how we go. I should have picked up the book. I should have picked up the book. Oh, I did pick it up. Thank you. should also find out Dolores's... It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine is. Oh, it just says Dolores. I guess I just have to guess her address in that. It's my state of the art Commodore 64. With. D my personal information has been entered. Just have to answer the hard mucus questions. Okay. Let's do Please it. answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, what do mucus source level debuggers run on? A separate monitor. 
Next question. How many parameters can functions take? Eight. Next question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? Next question. What type of files are compiled scripts packed into? MLF or F M F L, yeah. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Smashed it. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Perfect. Okay, so now we go speak to Uncle Chuck. No pinching. What is going on here? Okay, found it. I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my point eight millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Uh, give letter to Uncle, Uncle Chuck. Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. I'd better not touch it. Uncle, it's Uncle Chuck's check register. I guess that makes it a Chuck register. I don't get it. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Um. I suppose we could talk to him. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, I have something for <laughs> you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll deal with it later. I want you to deal with it now. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Just get some polycyclic hydrocarbons along with methyl ethyl ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. I don't know what that meant. Hello. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. 
But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for chatting, Uncle Chuck. Why don't you practice your ASCII conversion? All my trons rely on it. Okay, Uncle Chuck. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by getdigital.eu. Better be careful. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. I don't know how to make the ink. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off... Hmm. Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about... Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get... Okay. Just have to keep going. I don't... I don't know how to make printer ink, so I think I might... Um... I think I might call for a hint. Why not? Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. What is going on with this game and jump scares? Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Use phone. Uh, so it's hint. Welcome to the fully automated Hintron 3000 system. We aim to make your experience playing Thimbleweed Park easier. If you're ever stuck on a puzzle or don't know what to do, phone us. The hints here will change depending on which part you are currently playing. If you can find a hint you're looking for, it's because you don't need to solve it right now. You can always just hang up when you're done, my feelings won't be hurt much. How can I help you? I need a hint. You need to make ink. Talk to Uncle Chuck for some clues. Yeah, that didn't help. That's commonly known as ash or soot. Ash or soot. Did you notice the mansion fireplace? Yes. You need to find something that will burn and light it. Make sure to read the hot sauce label. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. I should stick up for myself. Yes, you should, Papa. So, if I... Wow! The fireplace looks very so clean. That didn't do anything. Still impressive. The fireplace looks very clean. I don't know how to use the. The fireplace looks very clean. Oh, um, we've got a piece of wood, don't we? Of course. How do I put it out now? Use. I don't feel like the taste for a non trained bark infringing poopsie now. I don't want to whip anything with this. I think I'll just be careful with them. It's a can of poopsie. Uh, okay. How do we put the fire out, though? Nice work. Ha! 
kayak, I actually set it on fire with my breath. Oh, I can probably use this little glass here to get some water. The glass is now filled with water. And then, now we've got a water-filled glass. Oh, it's already turned to ash, okay. The fireplace is very sooty and filled with ash. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good. I don't think they're good for anything. Ugh. I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lettuce. Uh, right. So I don't know how to I do... I can't reach that. I don't know how to do... Let's get the hint for it. Because I don't know what the... I don't know what the... the truck is such a... It was. So how on earth am I going to be able to figure that out? Welcome, pal. Can I... That's a fancy way to say gasoline or pet. Oh. Use gas. Thank you. Use gas can. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. I should stick up for myself. Yes, you should. Yeah. It's no good just saying it, though. You need to actually go out there and um, do it for real. Use ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. There. The blank paper is back and the print. It's my state of the art. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. There we go. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. Pick up. So, how do we get the stamp off of uh, Uncle Chuck's letter? God, he lives so far away. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Uh. He's a work of art. I'm looking for- Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory and restore the family heritage. What well, if I just say pull letter? I can't pull that. As in pull the stamp off of it. Hmm. Use water. It doesn't work in that. No, okay. Oh, what if I use this letter with that letter? I can't letter? use my application with that. We just want the stamp off of it. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. Yeah. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. I'm going to I'm going to get a hint one more time. I just uh I just don't want to be trapped in a flashback, you know what I mean? I know I have a good idea. Come on, pick up. What was that about? Welcome back, Hulk. There were some stamps on the letter. Chuck left the letter on a table and pick up the letter with stamps Chuck left on the table in his work. Thank you. What do you mean pick it? Oh my god. I know I have a good idea. How does that help though? Because everything I tried to do with it, she didn't want to do.
I have to find a safe way to remove the stamps. It doesn't work in that. Safe way. Uh, maybe the microwave. We just need Feeling to... my way along. We just need to uh, heat it up a little bit, really. Can you just walk this way, please? Use letter. It's closed. Open it up then. Use letter in close microwave. I have to pick it up first. Close mic. Oh my god! Close the microwave. Use microwave. Pick up. Ouch! The letter's hot. But I need steam to get the stamps off. Use letter in sink. It doesn't work in that. Oh. Use glass of water in microwave. Close microwave. Use microwave. Open microwave. Pick up glass of water. Use glass of water. That will just make the letter soggy. <sighs> okay, back to the library we go. I promise I won't be using hints outside of um, flashbacks because Chuck is such a bully. Um. Oh no, I did it wrong. It's just because I'm stuck here, so I can't go and do something else. Welcome back to the hint trial. How can How can one Steam will remove You need to find some water. Now you need to put the water into some. Now you need hot water to be in proximity. Put the letter and the glass in the microwave. Oh, you joking. Thank <sighs> uh, I'll half figured it out. I, I'm not going to feel too too mad about that one. Because let's face it, you put a glass of water into the microwave, it's going to be steaming and you can probably get the stamp off of it without needing to put the letter in the microwave at all. So, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat myself up over that. Here we go. I'm going to, I'm going to turn off the faucet because that's really annoying me. Okay, use stamps. My letter to mucus phlegm is now stamped at... Oh, I can read it. Hey, Chucky baby, what the is holding up the toy licensing contract? Your brother Franklin said this was a done deal, so I thought I'd write to the big guy himself and get this thing moving forward. My comeback is going to be huge, and making ransom dolls would be like printing money. Ransom. Use. How exciting. I hope I get the job. Me too, Dolores. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh. Good She's luck. So patient. See ya. Open. I think I want to open this in my room. Just in case it's really bad news. Wonder what we need the cat of nine tails for. Why have you walked why have you walked over there? Oh my god. Just walk this way! Come on now. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. I don't feel like the taste for a non-trademark infringing poopsie now. How are we going to get you the nerve?
It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park. And okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here. Okay, but. Okay, okay, I'm opening. Good it. girl, Dolores. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first. What? 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 So we gotta go tell Uncle Chuck. Give letter to Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? Yes, but I thought you should hold on to it. Good idea, Dolores. And thank you for saving me the trouble of unsealing it. You're you welcome. know how much I hate opening mail. Okay. Let's Hello, talk to my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. No, 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 no! Yo, what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Oh, okay. So we've met Dolores, we've met Ransom. Uh, we don't know what's going on with uh, Rayaz, and Ray is. Um, if by look, look at you mean smell, I've already done that. And I think we'll call it there for our first episode of Thimbleweed Park. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Consequences, and this has been Consequences Plays Thimbleweed Park. I'll catch you in the next one, and um, comment below what you thought of the game. Hmm. I haven't seen Rayaz for a while.